Okay, this time I'm going to talk a little bit more about creating some other kinds of details on surfaces. This is kind of an interesting one. It's probably a little, it's an edge bevel with uh, this little display right here. You see if I zoom in and I hide it, you see that it's, it's got a uh, recess inside there. So let's look out, uh, let's look and see how we can do this. Okay, first thing we'll do is we're going to draw a solid box. Uh, let's grid snap, zoom out a little bit. Something like this. Here. And let's go into here now. Let's take this. Uh, now we have this box. Let's go ahead and we're going to draw a rectangle from the center of this box. Let's go midpoint here. And let's turn off the grid. We'll just something like so. Take that. These two, both of these, and we'll say Boolean merge. So what it, that just did is it created this box and, and this box. I can click this and that's really easy for me to do a chamfer on there. Let's do nine. Okay, done. We're going to select all. We're going to Boolean union them now. Okay, and then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to make a very small fillet on here. So I'll put a little fillet there and then I'll come on the edges here. Uh, actually, and then let's, let's chamfer those. And we'll make it maybe four, something like four might be good. That looks about right. Okay, done. So there we have that. Now, if I come in here and I say give me an offset inset, right, you'll see that the inset doesn't really work correctly. It's, it's not the way you would typically see an inset in a kind of a polygon modeler. So we're not going to do that. What we're going to do is instead I'm going I'm to select oops, these edges. And I'm going to just inset these edges. So I'll say an offset, and we'll do something. I'll oh, say about that big right there. So once I've got that done, and I can take this surface and this, and I can say, or actually take this surface and trim it with this. And now I have just this piece in here. So you can see, and then that I can take that and delete it. I can take this up here and say. Extrude it down a little bit. Okay, and delete the originating curve, and then uh, actually, and then just delete the top, and we see we've got the inside. So that's that's how that works. So now I'll select everything. Let's do another boolean and a union. And now that we've got that done, I'll come in here and hit the E key to extrude. I'll move this over down a little bit. Same with this. E key to extrude. Okay. Uh, uh, then I can just come in here and select these and hit a fillet. And let's try how 3.5, see what that does. Uh, maybe 4. That looks good. Or 4.2. Yeah, that looks great. Done. Select down here, fill it, I'll make it 3.5. Okay, done. Now let's go ahead and get the top part. I get that little piece in there. Let's fill up this top part also. And this is going to be uh, one. There we go. Maybe 0.8. Okay. And now to create my little display, I'll just grab this surface here. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Okay, now I hit Shift A. I, I, I can can basically reset this view, and I'll reset it based on here, and that means it rotates around there too. So it re resets based on the selection, and it'll rotate around the selection. So once I've got this done, it's uh, fairly easy just to say E, and I can pull it down as far as I want, or up. So right there looks good. I'm going to delete the, uh, okay, the, the main curve. Let's give it some color. And and there is the edge detail we were talking about building uh, pretty quickly. So I might come in here and tweak this. Give these fillets maybe something a little nicer there. Okay. 
and there it is. So, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.